Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions, and in today's video, I'm going to share a few easy ways to insert or import drawings into another drawing in AutoCAD. This is super useful if you get sent base data, say a floor plan or property lines, and you need to bring these into a drawing you're working on, uh, whether it's as an overlay so you can see it below, or to continue building upon that drawing. These tips are going to save you a ton of time and you're going to learn a few different ways and methods of importing those drawings. Let's jump right into today's video. All right, so as I mentioned, today we're taking a look at different ways to insert or import or reference drawings into a drawing in AutoCAD. So you can see here, my example drawing is completely blank. And what we wanna do is bring in a floor plan as well as a couple other drawings to build up our base design and base drawing that we can then add onto with dimensions and notes and more line work. One of the most common and probably most known ways to reference or import a drawing is through an external reference. Now this is basically creating a link between your new drawing and a previous or older base drawing. This is great if you don't plan to edit or modifying the base plan often. Uh, particularly this is useful for floor plans or site plans but it can also be used for a lot of different types of drawings. To start this, you can go to the Insert tab up on the ribbon here and choose Attach. This is going to allow you to attach or reference in another drawing. Going to the path where you've got it saved and selecting it is going to allow you to choose which drawing you would like to reference into your new drawing. Now, one quick way to grab that file path is if you open up the, say, client floor plan that you've been sent or site plan, you can right click on it and copy the full file path. This is a great way to quickly and easily grab the file path of any of the drawings you have open. Now, when I click that attach button, I can simply paste that full path in and it's going to directly link or reference that drawing into my new drawing. Now from here, you've got a couple options. Uh, you can choose between an attachment or an overlay. Uh, in general, they are similar, but an overlay will not be seen or used if you reference this drawing into another drawing, whereas an attachment will also be attached when you reference, say, the example drawing we're working in into another drawing. By default, I'll typically use overlay. Uh, as for the other settings, these are pretty straightforward. Uh, if you want the drawing to come in in the exact same location that it was in the original, you're gonna wanna keep all of these at zero and uh, one for the scale. That's gonna bring everything in in the right size and location as it was in the original drawing. So that's tip number one and the most common way of importing or bringing another drawing into a new drawing. Now for option number two, we're gonna try and insert a drawing into this drawing here. So you can accomplish that by typing I for insert and enter, and you're gonna get this toolbar here. If you're on a later version, you might just get a di dialog box. Um, either way, they work pretty similarly. You can click up on the top right here to bring up that navigation box that I was talking about. And again, we can paste in a path. This time we're gonna bring in a different drawing. Uh, we're gonna go to our electrical. We're gonna insert our electrical drawing into our existing drawing. Now this is different because it is not referenced back to the original. So if changes are made to this original electrical drawing, they will not be reflected in our current new drawing. But if you XREF or reference like we did the floor plan, all changes made to that original floor plan drawing are going to be reflected in our current drawing as soon as you open it or reload the reference. Again, we're gonna insert our electrical drawing by selecting it and hitting open. And again, you're gonna get these same sort of options. Uh, we want to insert at zero comma zero uh, to make sure it comes in in the right location. And you're not gonna wanna scale or adjust anything. You can see right away that our electrical drawing is now inserted into this floor plan drawing, but it is a block. 
So if we close our insert and we open our properties menu here by using control and one, or you can right click and open properties, you can see that we now have a block reference. So this is not attached or connected to our electrical drawing. It is a new block within our existing drawing that is made or built from that electrical drawing. Now you can type in explode now to convert all of these uh, objects into standard AutoCAD line work, or you can leave it as a block. Leaving it as a block ensures you don't accidentally move anything around, but if you would like to make changes, exploding it or right clicking on it and choosing block editor are going to allow you to make changes and then when you're finished, close and save the changes. And again, if you select it and type in explode, you're basically going to convert it back to lines. So you can see each individual line is now in this drawing. And that's a great easy way to insert a bunch of line work into your drawing in just a few clicks. That's the insert command and then explode once it's in. And now you've got all of your line work in your new drawing in the right location. Now as a bonus little tip here, if you'd like to skip a couple of those steps and you have a uh, file like Explorer window open, you can simply drag and drop a drawing into AutoCAD and it will activate that insert command. It's asking me for my insert location. I'm going to use 0, 0, and it's going to ask me for my scale. Hit enter for one and hit enter for one again for X and Y and rotation. And you can see now we've got it in this drawing as well. Uh, that's another way to kind of skip that insert command option. Now we're going to bring in a bit of line work from another drawing. So I'm just going to open it up here. Again, you can drag and drop drawings. So if you drag it up to this top command bar or the top uh, bar, it's going to actually open the drawing instead of insert it. And you can see this drawing is called Windows. Now I don't want to reference or block this one into my drawing. Uh, like the insert or xref commands. In this case, each of these is their own dynamic blocks and I want all of this to work within my drawing. So I simply wanna copy all of this drawing's line work into my new drawing. Now to do that, we're gonna use the third method here and that is the copy with base point command. You can also hold down control, shift and C to activate that one or you can type in copy base. Both of those are gonna activate the copy base point uh, command. And all this is going to allow you to do is select a base point to reference the location of all these objects, as well as copy all of them to paste them into your new drawing. So in our case, I'm going to select all of my window blocks. I'm gonna hold control, shift and tap C to start the command. And it's gonna ask me for my base point. Typically, I'll just use 0, 0, since it's easy and fast to remember, and hit enter. You can see that it's copied 19 of my objects. And now when I go to the example drawing, this is our new one that we're working with, I can use paste or control and V to paste all of my objects. It's going to ask me for the insertion location or point. I'm going to use 0, 0. Hitting enter is going to place all of my dynamic block uh, windows here into this new drawing. So it's copied them out of the windows drawing and put them in the exact same location in my new example drawing. Now we've used three different ways to insert a drawing or objects into a new drawing and each one can be accomplished in as little as one or two clicks or commands and they're easy to remember. Again, you've got inserting or attaching as a reference. You've got the insert command using I or dragging and dropping a drawing into the drawing. And you've got copy with base point. All three of these are going to have different uses and scenarios where they may be helpful, but they're all must know AutoCAD commands. Before we wrap up, I wanna thank Leonidas on the CAD support Discord channel and forum. He asked a question about inserting drawings into a new drawing and best practices and options. And we gave a detailed answer in the Discord. But this video is also a great reminder and a quick visual on how to do this 
in three different ways. If you guys are interested in joining our private CAD support community, you can click the link in the description. I'll make it clear down there. Right now it's closed for enrollment, but there is a sign up to find out when it opens up. We're gonna open it limited uh, for users to join and build out a community for asking CAD questions, meeting like users, and getting monthly videos made for you. Check it out at the link down below, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like and comment down below. Cheers!